Islanders, we have cruise news overload for you on the show today. It's the classic he said, she said. Who's right? The finger pointing continues with the mustard drill madness saga that's going on. All of us know that in the last couple of weeks, Norwegian Cruise Line and Disney have gone back to the old way of mustering. And we have hoped, passengers have hoped, that no other cruise line follows in their tracks. Royal Caribbean and Carnival have both come out and said, we have no plans to do so. But they also point out that Norwegian said this is a safety deal. We are changing this in regards to safety. It's the Coast Guard. And Carnival says, no, that's, that's not right. You're not telling the truth there. Carnival shares maybe what the real reason why Norwegian is going back to the old way of mustering. We have that on the show today. Plus, we have news from Royal Caribbean as a new ship is selling from Galveston this week. And we are a year away from the icon of the seas. Holland America sets a bookings record and we never ever pass up an opportunity to get a picture, an updated picture of a new cruise ship today. It's the Carnival Jubilee. This wasn't even a planned uh, announcement, but uh, the shipyard takes a picture of one vessel and the Jubilee is in the background. We're going to get a little update, see a little updated image from the Carnival Jubilee on the other side of this intro. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. I hope you had a great weekend and your week is off to a great start. As we're at the beginning of the week, I want to reach out and tell everyone personally, I know many of us are in the path of severe weather, storms, tornadoes, ice storms. I hope everyone today and the rest of this week, you stay safe. If you need help, of course, reach out. We are here in an Islander community. Keep us updated on your situation on our Facebook page. It is time to relax and spend some time in the islands. It's time to drop our anchors, the cares that's on our shoulders and hearts, everything going on. Let's pause. It will be there in 10 minutes. Let's have this show for 10 minutes, spend some time together and talk about cruising and cruise news. There's a lot going on in the industry. And let's first talk about this right here. Carnival Cruise Line, Miami blog. Eric and Jacqueline are some of our closest friends. And I reached out to Eric among the first couple of days when I launched Island Time a year and a half ago, coming up on two years. And Eric gave me great advice. He manages dozens of groups on Facebook. You are probably part of these groups. I'll put some of those in the description of this video. But Carnival Cruise Line, Miami blog, Cruising with Carnival on Facebook. He does a great job. We are partnering, partnering with them. They are growing exponentially with millions of impressions and views, and they support what we do here at Island Time. They are great partners of us. Let's see the most updated recent picture here of the Carnival Jubilee. I'm putting it up now. Look at this picture. This was kind of a, uh, this wasn't intended for to be an update on the Carnival Jubilee, but instead the smaller vessel. You can see the smaller vessel there. It was a post from the shipyard about this smaller vessel and how it's complete and the history of this vessel. But the Carnival Jubilee is in the background, and we're going to take every opportunity. We'll take it any way we can get it for an update on the Carnival Jubilee. She looks beautiful there in her colors. The livery, of course, is there, which we saw a couple of weeks ago. But she's really coming together. When you look at this other picture here, she looks really good. The cabins are there. They're railing. Um, I'm waiting for the float out, right? I'm waiting for the float out. The Carnival Jubilee looks beautiful. Many of you have sailed one of these XL class ships, the Mardi Gras, the Celebration is out of Miami right now. Some of you are booked on the Jubilee. Let us know your experience if you have sailed the Mardi Gras and Celebration. Do you like that size of cruise ship? Of course, she's comparable to some of Royal Caribbean's large ships as well. Let us know if you've cruised Carnival's XL class in the comment section below. Or if you're booked on the Jubilee, let us know that as well. Speaking of Carnival, a Carnival brand, cruise uh, news story number two right here, a Carnival brand in Holland, America. Not a cruise line that some of us cruise, but there's a, a large group that follows this channel, this community. They are Islanders. They love Holland America. They swear by Holland America, and Holland America has set a bookings record. Uh, it's the fourth different Carnival brand in the month of January. When I say Carnival brand, Carnival Corporation, Carnival Cruise Line is not one of those cruise lines who have set a record this month. 
But Holland America has set a record in January. January 17th was the highest single day bookings record in company history. They're seeing a lot of people book cruises for the summer. That makes sense this time of year. Uh, we're in wave season where we see a lot of bookings. January, February, March is so busy. A lot of good cruise deals out there. Holland America says summer cruises and cruises to Alaska, which they specialize in. Holland America offers more cruises to Glacier Bay than any other cruise line. They're known for that. If you're cruising to Alaska, you want Glacier Bay. Holland America is your choice. They also have the time of your life sale going on right now. Some deposits are a dollar, one dollar. They're throwing in Wi-Fi and drink packages, all kinds of stuff. You may have never tried Holland America before, but maybe it's time for you to do so. I haven't cruised with them. I would love to, if you've cruised with Holland America, let us know your, your review in the comment section. We would like to hear that. A deposit for a dollar, I think I'll take it. Go to Alaska, Glacier Bay, yeah, I'll take it. Congratulations to Holland America and Carnival Corporation. Four different lines now within one month in this January, it is busy. Let's talk about Royal Caribbean, the latest on Royal Caribbean, cruise news stories number three and four. Uh, here, Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas is now in Galveston. She arrived yesterday. She came from New Orleans. She's gonna sail from Galveston for the winter season, if there is a winter in Galveston, and there is. It's been cold November and December. We cruised out of Galveston, it was cold. She's set to sell Eastern, Western, and Panama itineraries. She is the third ship in Galveston selling for Royal Caribbean, joining the Adventure of the Seas and the Allure of the Seas. Of course, that new terminal there, Royal Caribbean is investing in Galveston. They're making a dent. They're starting to convert some Carnival cruiser, cruisers. Carnival has owned that market for so long. Uh, and they're maybe not anymore. We'll see what happens. Of course, the allure is there. The harmony of the seas is coming. And who knows, an icon class ship could be coming to Galveston. We do know they, that the icon of the seas were a year out, one year out from the icon of the seas joining the Royal Caribbean fleet. She is on time. She's ready to go late January of 2024. She's sailing from Miami but she's supposed to make a stop in Galveston before she does so in late January of 2024. We'll keep you updated. Michael Bailey made the announcement. We shared it here. We'll see what happens with that story there. Let's get to the meat of the show today. How oh, the mustard drill saga, this continues to go on, does it not? The big news last week that Norwegian Cruise Line was going to join Disney and they're going back to the old way of mustering. It's not, it's not a fan. I'm not a fan of the old style. You're probably not a fan of the old style as well. But we're getting some traction here. We're getting some back and forth. The he said, she said, finger pointing. You're not telling the truth. Here's actually what happened. That's what we're getting. That is the news. Now, the United States Coast Guard is kind of in charge. They oversee the safety briefing, the mustard drill for the entire industry, not just Disney, Norwegian, Carnival, Royal Caribbean. They have the say-so. Whenever cruise lines want to have a plan, this is what the mustard drill looks like on our ships. They present it to the United States Coast Guard. It's approved or it's denied. And Norwegian came out last week with their change of going back to the old way of mustering and said this is a safety deal. They almost pointed to the United States Coast Guard and almost said what we were doing wasn't the safest, wasn't the most efficient. And so we're going to go back to what we used to do uh, in order to make that clear. Now, if that were the case, if it wasn't safe, if it wasn't efficient, the United States Coast Guard and other governing bodies would share that, would declare that, and Norwegian would not be the only cruise line to make this change. Royal Caribbean and Carnival say, not so fast, my friend, be careful where you point your fingers. It's not the Coast Guard's fault, it is your fault. Greg Purdy, Royal Caribbean's International Senior Vice President of Marine Operations, recently shared, we're not changing our e-muster, our virtual muster drill. He says this, we're always open to change, but we're not so open to going backwards. So we will always look for moving forward and doing things if they're better for our guest and crew. Royal Caribbean says we're sticking with the way of doing things. Carnival Cruise Line has a similar statement. The chief communication officer recently said, but our experience with the e-muster process has been extremely positive and we are able to provide our guests with critical safety information in a more individualized manner, including them understanding very specifically where their muster station is and how to get to it. They've received positive feedback, but here's the thing 
that the finger pointing is getting to. Norwegian says it's safety, says it's Coast Guard. That's what they're citing. Carnival Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, they share it's not necessarily that. It's It takes crew members. Carnival and Royal both shared. It takes more crew members to run this new virtual e-muster drill. It takes more crew members than what the old style used to take. And it makes sense when there's two or three or four crew members at these stations to put on the life jacket, to check people in, uh, to usher them where they need to go. And there's so many muster stations on a ship. And when you think about how many crew members it takes to run these operations. And you think about the other recent news from Norwegian of them letting entertainment staff go. Entertainment staff a lot of times helps with the mustering process. Embarkation day, the entertainment staff is vital in making sure people get where they need to go. They learn the ship. They say, here's where Lido deck is. Here's where you can eat. Here's the muster drill. Norwegian has let some of these entertainment staff go, and could that be a reason why they can no longer offer this type of mustering? We may never know, but you can choose a side if you would like. What do you think the culprit is for Disney Norwegian going back to this old way of mustering? Do you think indeed it's safety? Do you think it's passenger precip precipitation? Do you think it's a cruise shortage? And are you happy? that Royal Caribbean and Carnival is standing their ground saying, we're going to do what the passengers love. It is safe. And it's a smaller group as Carnival pointed out. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to see those. And while you're down there, make sure if you have not subscribed to this channel and this community that you do so. We recently passed 14,000 subscribers. We thank you for that. We are still climbing. We also have an active Facebook page that link is in the description of this video. Over 3,000 Islanders on that page that post questions and pictures and advice, video of cruising every single day. Make sure you're on our Facebook page. We hope you enjoyed the content today. If so, give us a thumbs up. We can't wait to see your responses in the comment section below. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.